okay hello everyone victor momo from excel moments and in this video i want to show you a solution to a problem that I previously solved in the london excel meetup in 2020 2021 but today is going to be with some spice i know the first question you're asking yourself is what's the problem i'll show you the problem if i proceed to show you the solution okay so i'm going to put up a folder here so what we have is an organization that has created, you know, a folder and a subfolder for every employee, right? So Adele has a folder, Angela Merkel, Angelina Jolie, and when you go into each of, you know, the employees folders, you see a file, in this case, a PDF file, which they have graciously named same as the employee. Right, so same for Barack Obama. So now what do they want to do? They want to be able to sit in Excel, you know, create hyperlinks to all those folders and from Excel click and it takes them, you know, to the folder of the employee and if possible, even takes them into the file within the folder or subfolder as the case is and you know opens it up all right so let's go back to excel to create a hyperlink i mean it's the simplest thing you can do you could use ctrl k right all right and then you know you can navigate to the folder of choice you know pick that folder you've created one link you do the same for the next folder for the next employee for the next employee and if you have 1000 of them you know you just keep doing it that's a very efficient way to do it of course that's a joke that's a very inefficient way to approach it. so i'm going to show you you know a much better way in my solution here which i will make sure is fully dynamic so there will be a lot of bells and whistles so let's use power query to get a list you know of all subfolders in that you know employee folder so i'm going to go to data and i go to get data and i do from file and then from folder i'm going to navigate to that folder right so let's go to desktop and then employee folders okay so we are in there you know we can do open all right so it's created a connection but what you can see here is that the list you see here is a list of files not a list of folders of course you know that every folder has a pdf in there that's why you have this right so i'm going to just do transform data of course i'm not trying to combine anything here so i'm going to do transform data right so basically now you see all the files and you see you know different properties for those files but i'm interested in the folders okay so what i'm going to do is just a simple switch here so rather than doing files you have only one other option which is doing folders or content okay and once you do that and you click the tick you can see that switch that that switches it from the files to the folders and you also see that there are no extensions as you would expect because it's not a file so right now i'm only interested in the name column so i'm going to right click that column and say remove other columns that's really all i want i'm going to do close and load and close and load too and i can do existing worksheet and say okay right so now i have you know the names of every individual in that folder which is excellent right but the first challenge you have with this is that it is not dynamic why because i went through get data file folder and i specified a specific folder so it means that the power query code always works on that folder but you want a situation where you know that can change so how do you do that let me use a different folder link for that purpose so i have another folder here called my trainings I'm just going to copy this link i'm going to paste it in here so what i want is that whenever a user pastes the link in here you know this you know pretty much should update to reflect the folders in you know the particular part that you have here so i have also named this cell you know folder underscore part so i'm going to try to bring this into you know power query so that i can merge you know both of them together so you could do alt apt or you right click and then you do get data from table range all right so here that's the folder part with a bunch of unnecessary steps knock those two off so we are here this is what we want i know that it's in the column one column so i could put square brackets just do column one i'm just showing you step by step right so this is what i want which is the first row so i can put that in curly braces using an index of zero to say row one right i'm not trying to be very elegant so it means that once i have this the result of it is that part so what i'm going to do is go to my first query 
right open the advanced editor and this is where i had the parts let's see if we can make this bigger good so now instead of having this hard-coded part i'm going to put in what i just pasted in there right so let's see okay that's good right so that's everything so it means that right now whatever you have in that folder part cell is what you know you're going to get now if you watch because i put a different part from what i used initially once you do done you can see that you know there is an update here so right now this query is irrelevant so i'm going to delete it all right and i'm just going to do close and load okay so now what i've been able to do is to create a connection between this part here and um you know the table that you have here so this reflects the folders in here so next thing we're going to do is to do the hyperlink so let me just come in here and maybe just say you know hyperlinks all right so what we're going to do is then going to create a hyperlink to you know this um folder parts here so how is that going to work simple you use the hyperlink function now it says what's your location how do you get to this folder you first of all have to get to the folder parts you know you have a slash and then you get to this so what we're going to do is we're going to select this which is folder parts you're going to concatenate that with a backslash and you're going to concatenate that you know with data types all right so that takes you into that folder and then in terms of friendly name which is what you want to see displayed in the cell you could say yes i want this displayed right just the name as is you do enter okay so now we've created a hyperlink to every subfolder within this folder let's just try one of them see if that works okay right and you see it takes us straight into my trainings you know the training outline you know folder okay so i can change this back to the initial one i started with which is you know let's say employee folders okay let's just do a refresh here all right so this is employee folders as you can see what i want to do in this case i just want to make a slight modification you know here we are pointing to the folder itself but let's say for that particular situation like i described i want to point to the pdf inside you know the folder so now if you look at your formula when you get to this point here this takes you you know the folder part and now you're inside the folder now to get to the file in there you can do another ampersand right you know you do an ampersand you do you know a slash and then you add it to this file which will be the name of the file and then you add it to a dot pdf okay so basically it goes this way you go to the folder part you know add a slash it takes you into this folder you add a slash and then you have a file that bears this same name dot pdf and let's do enter so let's see if this will open the pdf directly so let's just try with bill gates okay and let's see all right so it opens you know the bill gates dot pdf file which is inside you know the bill gates folder all right so that's how you know it works so now you see that it's kind of you know better than when we started off okay there's only one challenge i have which is the fact that i have to manually come here and update you know the folder part i love a situation where i can you know pick the folder i want to use and i have the part automatically you know be pasted in here and of course once that part is selected i want this you know refreshed that's what i would like that would be el dorado for me so here i'm going to resort to vba you know to get the code simple code you know that i probably can write but because i'm too lazy i'm just going to use chat gpt okay so i'm going to say um you know just say give me vba code you know to select you know a folder from a folder dialog you know in excel vba i'm not trying to be elegant but i've used some keywords that i believe you know will tell it what it needs to do right i just need something i can modify okay thanks for all the mumbo jumbo i think this is just good enough let's go back in here into excel alt f11 okay gets us here alt i m insert a module let's paste it here all right excellent so what i want to show you here first thing is that when you click play you see what it does it opens the folder dialog that's the important thing i want to show here right so from here you can now select your folder right so that's the thing okay so let's go back in there so what happens is 
this is where you know you select you know the folder you know you want this is if you select something what i did just now because i didn't select anything that was why i had this message so let me come in here i can comment this out now it says here folder part is fd dot selected items so whatever you select as your folder is stored in this variable you know called folder part but what i want straight up is just for this cell you know to pick that value up so whatever you select when you open that folder i want it pasted right in here so what i can do is i can change this and say range don't forget that the name of that cell here is folder underscore parts so i can say folder underscore parts once i say folder underscore parts here i'm referring to this cell here okay so that's this cell right for completeness you could say dot value not that it's not going to work without it so what you are saying here is that you know when that dialog box is shown which is where you choose um, the folder you want you know whatever items you select in this case assuming you can select more than one item but the first item you select you know you want that value of that item stored in this cell here or in this range so that's what it's going to do the next thing i would want to add is just a line of code to allow it to refresh so that once that part is pasted in here then this automatically refreshes rather than me having to do a refresh okay so today is victor's lazy day so i'm just going to write very simple code so refresh all right so what it means is select the folder and then you can refresh okay good okay so i'm going to insert you know a button right here so I'm going to do insert, all right, and just select this button, okay, point it to the code, all right, so here, then, you know, we could rename this, yeah, sometimes it could be funny, so just say select folder, all right, so what it means is that once you click this, it will prompt you to select the folder you want to navigate to and then once you paste it it's going to refresh this table so let's see now we're going to change it to the other folder i've been using so select folder then i navigate here to my desktop and then i use my trainings that's the folder there i do okay all right and you see automatically once that change happens the part is updated here you know and then these are also updated so now you have it in a more dynamic way where you can select the folder the part is automatically updated and the hyperlinks are automatically updated so if for any reason they change the location of you know the employee folders everything will link up dynamically so that's what i wanted to show in this video i hope you enjoy it or enjoyed it and still enjoy it you know if you did please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for now i'm out